listen, I, th I think that um, that stop at the end of the game was indicative of who we were all night. We fought, we clawed, and the basketball gods uh, shined on a, on a, you know, a guys that have been uh, playing good basketball and, and guys of high character and guys that have, uh, that are together and spirited. So it's, it's just nice, you know, to see those guys in that locker room rewarded for their, for their efforts. And D'Angelo talked on the court about the guys staying connected throughout this whole thing. You talked before the game about the film session, the players only film session. What role did that play in those guys, again, sticking together and then coming through in the end tonight? Well, that's why, you know, that's why you bring guys like that into your, into your locker room, into your program. We have, you know, guys with great character and, and great spirit, and they kept their spirit. You know, even last game, you know, I, th I thought our spirit was off the charts and, and our, our togetherness. So, uh, and then the film session, listen, I, you know, maybe we'll have them do the film session the rest of you. That would make my life easier. Um, but some, listen, I think sometimes you, as a coach, you try to feed them everything. You try to you know, coach every little thing. And, and the fact that they, they could coach themselves and, and communicate amongst themselves, it was, uh, uh, I can't take credit for the idea. It was, it was, it was our staff that, that came up up with it so and that's why you have a great staff so uh coach spencer had another big game off the bench what does he sort of meant to you guys in terms of like you know what you're trying to show in terms of player development and things of that nature and the guy you know he's grown so much you know since since we first got him and and uh you know, first of all, great job by Sean and his group identifying him in the in the G League. That's that's the hardest part, finding the guy. And then he's just been a dedicated uh, uh, dedicated to our performance program. That's he's probably number one on the list in terms of of, of his diligence with his body. Uh, and then what he's supplying for us now is downhill speed. Like we, you know. They switched everything, you know, they, the teams are going to that now. And if, if you don't have a guy that can get downhill, it, it makes it really difficult. So he can get the switch, he could drive it. I wish he'd move it a little more sometimes, uh, but uh, you need that guy that can get downhill. Coach, uh, Rondé down the stretch, amazing defense on Kawhi and regulation, then in overtime. Talk about how he just changes the game for you on defense. <clears throat> yeah, as well as D'Angelo played, I think if I had a game ball, I'd, I'd give it to him. I'd, I, you know, I just think he he embraced his role. Uh, you know, that was the Rondé that we've we've seen, uh, we saw last year, and and I think, listen, I still don't think he's in peak form. You know, I I, I think he's still uh, coming back from from his uh, injury in the summer. He was out a long time, and uh, uh, but he was he was fantastic. 103, 102. There's a loose ball. And he jumps on it. We get to jump ball, and then we win the jump ball. And and those are the plays, you know. And I think they, the players talked about that in, in their film session, you know, quote unquote, winning plays that we weren't making, whether it was a box out, whether it was a 50-50 ball. Uh, so, um, you know, he led it. He he was great tonight. Uh, Coach, how about uh, D'Angelo in the third quarter, and then kind of stepping up in the overtime with the first couple baskets for you there. Huge. What can I say? We needed his offense, and and uh, um, you know he 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 kind of carried us without him. Uh, I'm not sure how you score against that team today. Like they're they're so they're so athletic, and they're, they're, every shot is contested. They're they're a heck of a defensive team. So we just you know we needed. That's one of D'Angelo's talents. He's he's a high level scorer, and and uh, um, we needed it tonight. Did you see Jared kind of slam the ball yeah. down after that last rebound? As the buzzer went out, just kind of yeah. I think they're sick of they're sick of hearing you guys talk about the you know, fourth quarter and blowing leads and uh, uh, but you know they don't understand you guys have a job to do and and you have to you have to you have to tell it like it is. But uh, yeah, I think that that was part of the frustration and and the joy uh, at the same time frustration of, of of our you know close losses and the joy of of closing that one out. Uh, sorry if if you've been asked this, but. Uh, I they were really contesting uh, shots at, at the three-point line in the fourth period and on. Uh, what do you think you did offensively to withstand that this time? Yeah, I think, you know, <coughs> excuse me, I think D'Angelo, you know, his mid-range kind of opened it up a little bit, you know, him hitting mid-range. And then I saw Spencer got downhill, uh, got downhill and, and got into the teeth of the defense. Uh, they are, Greg, you make a great point, they are elite in contesting three-point shots. You don't think they're there, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they, they, they got a hand in your face. So I thought we did a good job. Damari had one where he shot fake and got in the lane. I thought we just, our, our drive mentality was, was uh, 
uh, was was excellent. Thanks, everybody.